Private property rights took a huge step forward in Texas recently as the state Senate unanimously passed Senate Bill 18, an eminent domain reform bill which has its roots in the last legislative session. I became very interested in this subject uh, last session when Senator Janik, as you remember, was championing this bill. When he retired, I thought, that, that's something that I want to sink my teeth into because property rights are so fundamental to our society. This bill prohibits the taking of land for private uses, requires condemning entities to negotiate in good faith, and has provisions so property owners will be fairly compensated if indeed their land is taken. It also requires those who have eminent domain power to register with the state comptroller's office. We'll be able to look at that and then sunset any authority that has not been registered and at least we'll have a, an inventory of what the legislature has done over the last 7,500 years. Although the controversial term diminished access is not in the bill, the principle is. If landowners lose direct access to their property from roads or highways causing the value of their land to decrease, then they must be compensated. A landowner now is able to get access back to their property if their property has been impacted to and from their access. With just a few weeks left in the legislative session, property owners are hopeful the bill will move quickly through the Texas House and eventually reach the governor's desk or many are optimistic that it will be signed into law. I think we're going to have a, at the end of the day, have a good product that the governor can sign. I'm Ed Wolf with the Texas Farm Bureau in Austin.